As towering cranes and workers unload another ship at the port of Baltimore, companies coming to America from across the world get their best deal here, with productivity ranked top in the nation by the Journal of Commerce. Over the port of Baltimore to say to the world and to container customers, hey look, we've got the infrastructure to handle your big ships today. Right now, it's huge for us. 71 containers per hour per berth, a task only possible with the help of some 13,000 plus workers. Richard Shear with the Port Administration says earning the title as America's fastest port will help attract new business. There's a lot of room for growth. In fact, our Seagirt Marine Terminal, which is our primary container facility, is only about 60% full right now. So there's plenty of room to grow. And, and that we, means jobs. And that, that certainly does mean jobs. Jobs from the potential of more ships coming through the expanded Panama Canal and ships destined for the upcoming privately owned port Trade Point Atlantic under construction at the old Bethlehem steel site in Sparrows Point. We're really confident that we're going to see 10,000 direct jobs there within the next 10 years and another 7,000 indirect jobs. Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenitz met us downtown after meeting with project planners. Excited three major tenants have already signed on, promising 3,000 jobs. Really a $3 billion investment. Uh, that has uh, that's really going to provide decent wages for that next generation of jobs. And that was Adam May reporting. Governor Hogan is a big supporter of expanding port business. In addition to jobs, the port already generates some $310 million in state and local taxes.